so when i started i decided on having two uh, readings of all the notes that i had of each and every subject and uh, third revision reading so for the first reading i allotted 3 days each to uh, each and every preclinical paraclinical and short subjects and 6 to 7 days to the major subjects along with the reading i used to attempt one subject wise test at the end of uh, that particular subjects reading and i used to jot down the question and answer in a very crisp one line manner this took me around 2 to 2 and a half month then i started with the second reading this time i focused more on the topics that i felt they are asking again and again in the examination along with this i started giving one uh, grand test every week and i used to focus you know again on the topics that they were asking and along with that i used to read the pearls that they used to give along with the explanation after this i watched dams visual treat it was very helpful in revising the subject and the third reading as i said it was just a revision reading i read those chris one liner notes that i had written i watched the dvt and whatever topics i had marked in my notes as important and frequently asked i just revised those in my third reading I think that the medicine question can be done through pharma and patho knowledge and so you should try and more focus on the that formula part something and some basic abg aims are some clinical like abg and then some calculation the bun calculation aki pre renal post renal and something like that with the uh, the tables that as from the stroke abc to chart and the bhas scoring something like chart and so the scoring parts are fair hot favorite topics of aims so we should definitely focus on that and for surgery the all the classifications uh, are most favorite of the aims faculty so you should try to read as much as possible the surgery classification surgery uh, the Mm, uh, the classification and etc and the tumor staging also tumor staging are asked in the aims so when you look at the 19 subjects of mbbs uh, you cannot merge them together because all of them had separate interest and value so what i did initially was i separated medicine obs gynae and surgery because they has the maximum number of questions and the maximum amount of syllabus and there is a myth that no matter how much you study them you won't be able to answer all of them but again similarly like if you study them properly and in depth they will give you an enormous number of right answers which others won't get so don't ignore them try to put as much as time possible in those three subjects especially and then i sorted out around 7 to 8 subjects which i thought i should not miss out at any cost unless and until it's totally out of the box questions like it can it was dharma psychiatry community medicine forensic medicine ent orthopedics and anesthesia these subjects the similar kind of questions keeps on repeating every time and you should try to score as much as possible there and then there is first year and second year subjects out of this the first year subjects different questions comes and the type of questions that are coming in inict and neat are different so if you have a base properly done in the first year and second year only for which i am thankful to my college aims bhuvneshwar uh, then in that case only reading the high yield points will help you but if you don't have the basic knowledge in of the first year and second year i would like to advise devote some proper time for those year, those two years because those are going to fetch you good amount of marks and then there are three subjects which i think you should read daily in small time in a very short time but you should read daily revise keep revising every day one is pharmacology because no matter how strong you are in pharmacology in second year this has to be volatile at some point there is micro microbiology again that you will confuse between this name of this culture media and this science and all and there is biochemistry it's all about cycles read the cycles revise them regularly so i think that's how you should divide the subjects because as long as you are appearing in inic you cannot be sure which subject is going to get how many marks so you should prepare for all the subjects equally focusing on the previous year's questions first year it will take 8 to 10 days for anatomy rest one one week for biochemistry and physiology so according to that comparison to the short subjects short subjects will be easily finished in 3 and 1/2 or 4 days or 5 days maximum 
सो यू नीड टू गिव टाइम अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर पैथो फॉर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी फॉर बायो केमिस्ट्री इट कैन टेक टेन टेन डेज ईच बट यू हैव टू गिव इट दैट एट शॉर्ट सब्जेक्ट कैन बी फिनिश इन वन मंथ टाइम इन कंपेरिजन टू दैट फिनिश द सेकेंड ईयर इन ऑल ओवर द वन मंथ टाइम लाइक दैट गिव द टाइम अकॉर्डिंग टू द वेट इज सो फर्स्ट गिव जी टी देन पिक अप यूर मोस्ट वीकेस्ट सब्जेक्ट एंड वॉट इज द वेटेज ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट यू गिव यूर प्रिपरेशन यू डिसाइड दैट विल बी कंप्लीटली डिपेंडिंग अपॉन यू बिकॉज फॉर एवरी वन द सब्जेक्ट दे आर वीक विल बी डिफरेंट i knew i won't be able to remember and retain such vast information and that's the case with everyone medical science is so vast but that one can't remember everything so the key is revision of the important and the volatile topics one week leading to the examination i finished my first reading by the end of march and i packed in three rounds of revision for the first round of revision i mainly flip through my notes selectively and try to recall the information if i could recall good if i couldn't recall then i would rapidly go through that page and go to the next topic for the second round of revision between 21st to 30th of april i mainly focused on the past grant tests that i had given i used to decide one big and one small subject per day i would review the gts that i had given followed by a list of important topics that i had made for myself and if there was any time remaining i used to watch three an academy videos of dr zaina bora ma'am I started watching those videos two weeks before the examination, and that was one resource that I regret not using earlier. For the third round of revision between first to sixth of May, I mainly flipped through my notes selectively and uh, watched the screenshots that I have already collected, the bookmark questions from the previous grant tests, and the previous year questions. That you can't finish the entire syllabus, and you have to be. when you have short time you have to be selective about your topics and it's uh, better not to start anything new in the last one month and bookmarking things and using post it notes and revising very difficult things just the week before exams uh what is the effective revision strategy so if you have studied it you have studied all the subject for one time at least then most effective revision strategy is to follow a test and discussion schedule i was following dams like i had completed my one revision properly during intensive so in last four months starting from january to april i followed the test and discussion from dams so there was a test assigned on a particular day and we have to complete the subject before and after giving the test there was a complete detailed video discussion regarding those questions and in and around those questions so in that way i revised before the test ones and after giving the test also i revised the whole important points which are likely to be asked so that is the most effective revision strategy i would like to suggest